Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install and configure packages in Proxmox with Terraform. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on my previous videos, I used actually Terraform which is an infrastructure as a code in order to provision actually a virtual machine with the help of actually a cloud init cloud image so here I'm using Debian 11 as cloud init image and as you have seen of my previous videos I configure actually a file called main.tf with the necessary code okay so let's review that very quickly and then we will actually go into installing packages on VM using Terraform, okay? So this is our uh, usual main.tf file, okay? Terraform actually file. So here at the beginning, you can see the provider we are using here, Telemet Proxmox version 2.9.11, okay? So as a reminder, providers just a way to connect to our resources, okay? So here we'll be connecting to our Proxmox. So here you see the credentials. We can use actually a user or password, but here I'm using actually API keys. And this is the credentials in order to connect to my Proxmox, okay? Then we define actually the resource. So here we'll be creating a Proxmox VM uh, QEMU image, okay? So you can see here the name of it, it's Debian VM-1, okay? And of course, in order to actually provision this image, you need actually a cloud init image. And we'll be using, as you can see here on the vars.tf file, this Debian 11 cloud init image in order to provision our resource, okay? So let's return back to our main.tf file, okay? And here you can see the rest of the configuration needed. So we have the disks. So here I'm using SCSI type disk with size of 8 gigabytes, okay? And for the network, I will keep with the default, okay? And one important thing here to note is the way to connect to this VM. Actually, as you can see here at the end, we'll be using actually SSH keys in order to connect to that. So we have to provide the public key. And all the variables are actually located in the other file vars.tf. So here you can see the variable SSH key, which is the public key that will be actually inserted in our VM. Okay. So this is very important. You must have actually uh, the private key and actually on the virtual machine, you install actually the public key, okay? So this is the most important actually part, which is the provisioner. So in order to install packages and to configure them, we use actually a provisioner. So what is a provisioner in Terraform? So actually in Terraform, a provisioner is a component responsible for executing script on a local or remote machine, okay? So there are many, many provisioners that you can use. So there is, for example, here we'll be using one named remote exec. There is also one, if you want to execute a script into your local machine, you replace the remote exec by the local exec provisioner. But here, as we are actually deploying some packages on the VM, which is a remote machine, we'll be using here a remote exec actually provisioner, okay? So this is the syntax for this to work. So here actually you provide the commands in order to get the packages installed. So the first uh, command is actually uh, just optional. So in case of the virtual machine is doing some updates in the background, the other commands will fail. So it's better to actually remove the lock on the update uh, packages in order to update them. And here, for example, we'll be actually installing Apache 2, okay? So if you're using Ubuntu type uh, machine, 
this is the usual command that you actually run on the terminal so the first command is to update the repositories then you have to install Apache 2 okay then finally as a test will be actually copying this uh, echo hello terraform text inside this index.html actually uh, file so remember when you install apache 2 the default public uh, actually uh, folder for html is slash var slash ww slash html and you will find there an index.html file which contains just uh, actually Apache 2 from Apache uh, community but here we are gonna override it with this text here hello terraform okay so one also very important thing to note here in order this script to work you have to provide here the connection and you can actually provide the connection uh, model inside the provisional so here the connection type is SSH and the host of course you will be providing here the IP address of the machine that will be created so remember this host this IP address here was provisioned in the resource section so here we have provided actually the IP address of the virtual machine that will be created okay so of course in order to connect to our new created VM we need some credentials we need the host which is the IP address here the user which is root and of course in order to connect to this VM that will be created we need a private key so remember in our vars.tf file we provided the public key so in order to connect to it you must have the corresponding actually private key and here I just provide the name of my private key and also it's located on the same uh, folder where this mine.tfl exists so here I'm not giving here the full path because it's on the same directory okay so as you can see here this provisional remote exec is very simple to set up all you have to do is to provide the connection actually credentials then you have also to provide the command that will be executed in order to create actually or in order to execute here the script okay so let's run the script here and see what we get so first of all let me connect to the proxmox so here I'm connected to it so this is our Debian 11 cloud init image and let's go back to the terminal here here we go so this is my terminal terminal and let's execute terraform apply command in order to execute the main.tf file okay so terraform apply here we go or we'll execute this command and of course we have to confirm here with the value yes in order to execute here what we call a plan so let's execute this plan actually here so you can see here on the left the virtual machine which has an ID of 134 will be actually created and the name of it is Debian VM-1 as I have actually inputted in the mind.tf file okay so let's wait for the machine to be created then we will see if indeed Terraform will also install Apache 2 so it will take some time because it has to of course wait for the machine to be created then it will actually update the repositories then install the Apache 2 package and all the output will be actually displayed here okay so here the connection has succeeded with our SSH keys and now it's updating the repo in order to install actually Apache 2 so here we go you can see the different uh, dependencies for Apache 2 that actually needed to be installed before Apache 2 will be installed 
and you can see here the provisional name remote exec that is executing so we will wait for the script to finish okay so it was very quick around two minutes three seconds in order to deploy actually this terraform script so now let's verify that actually indeed we have an apache web server running and displayed the hello world or actually hello terraform as i have entered here hello terraform in our provisional so as you can see the ip address of my new created machine is that 100.91 so let's go back to our uh, browser and enter the ip address and here we go you can see that indeed i have running web server and it has displayed the hello terraform text that i have entered in our main.tfr so as you can see it's very easy to provision vm with terraform and install also packages using the provisioner but here you have to note it's not the recommended method to actually configuring packages inside a vm because normally terraform is used to provision the resources and for configuring packages and other things we use other tools like for example uh, puppet or uh, salt also it's very famous and the most famous one is actually ansible ansible it's pretty pretty straightforward and very used it has a huge community where actually you can provision packages for your vm but here i want to just to show you that you can also do that using terraform okay so that was just a brief uh, video to show you how to actually configure packages inside vm with terraform as always i hope that has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye